Talk about being sent from the frying pan into the fire. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity chef scandals. If you like this video, then you'll love the original content over at our sister channel, Ms. Mojo, your source for all things pop culture, celebrity, and entertainment. For this list, we're ranking the most high-profile or otherwise troubling scandals involving celebrity chefs. For the record, we're not casting judgment with these entries, but rather commenting on how these allegations negatively impacted each chef's public persona. Number 10. Ina Garten – Heartless Contessa? It takes a certain kind of person to turn down a request from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but fans of Ina Garten, also known as the Barefoot Contessa, probably never thought this celebrity chef would fall into that category. That's exactly what occurred, however, when it was revealed that Garten had turned down a meeting with six-year-old Enzo Pareda not once, but twice. The reasons behind the situation apparently ranged from Garten being busy with a book tour to the requests actually not reaching Garten personally. But by this point, the damage to her reputation had already been been done. Not even a last-minute do-over from Garten saved her from being skewered by the internet. Number 9. Gordon Ramsay's Daddy-in-Law Issues No one likes airing their dirty laundry in a public forum, especially when that person lives as a celebrity under public scrutiny. And you wonder why I go f***ing apeshit? Stand here for five minutes, see how painful it is! Gordon Ramsay was front and center in just such a spectacle in 2017, when a very high-profile feud with his father-in-law took the celebrity chef all the way to court. Chris Hutchison was sentenced to six months in prison for hacking Ramsay's computer, alongside his two sons, Adam and Chris Jr. The elder Hutchison had been business partners with Ramsay, and used information gained in the hack to publicly embarrass the Hell's Kitchen star, after he'd been sacked by Ramsay in 2010. Number 8. Bobby Flay and his Cray Divorce Okay, we've heard of messy divorces, but this one's ridiculous. The split between celebrity chef Bobby Flay and Law & Order SVU actress Stephanie March was acrimonious to say the least, with accusations of infidelity leveled at Flay and March trying her best to beat a prenup agreement agreed upon by the pair in court. My assignment to SVU preceded the behavioral problems under your command. Oh, and did we mention that there was also a mysterious plane flying a banner which read Cheater during Flay's Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony? And that Bobby allegedly had romantic ties to Mad Men star January Jones? <laughs> no. I mean, the way other people see you. Honestly, we're getting anxious just thinking about this level of cray. Number 7. Nigella Lawson's Drug Use Accusations and Troubled Marriage the next scandal on our list is a twofer of sorts, as well as another example of an extremely troubled marriage. Nigella Lawson was accused of abusing various drugs, but particularly cocaine, by her exec ex-husband, Charles Saatchi, as well as the couple's former Italian assistants. Saatchi even angrily referred to Nigella in an email as Hi Jella. Nigella, for her part, admitted to using cocaine, but balked at accusations that she was a drug addict instead pointing to Saatchi as someone who was, in her words, committing, quote, intimate terrorism within their relationship. The pair officially split in 2013. Number 6. Robert Irvine Stretches the Truth Celebrity chef Robert Irvine boasted a laundry list of impressive accomplishments on his resume, but Irvine admitted in a 2008 interview with the St. Petersburg Times newspaper that he, quote, felt pressure to keep up with the Joneses by embellishing information for his biography. Some of these dubious claims include Irvine owning a Scottish castle and being knighted by the Queen. Irvine later pushed back against some of the allegations in the paper's article, and other parts of his biographical information possessed some truth, such as his role in preparing a cake for royals Charles and Diana. But on the whole, Irvine wasn't exactly who he said he was, and his public persona suffered from the embarrassment. Number 5. Anne Burrell is accused of discrimination Prior to her emergence as a celebrity chef on the Food Network, Anne Burrell worked at the New York City restaurant Centro Vinoteca. It was Burrell's tenure here which was the subject of a 2009 lawsuit, one that alleged that the chef was verbally abusive to female staff members at the restaurant. The allegations claimed that Burrell would hurl insults and slurs at female waitresses and front-of-house staff, using words like slut and whore, while also commenting on their appearance or clothing. Those who spoke up against Burrell's behavior were allegedly fired for their trouble, and the complaints against Burrell claimed that she only targeted female co-workers in this manner. Centro Vinoteca closed in 2013. Number 4. Guy Fieri's Alleged Homophobia 
David Page was a producer on the Food Network hit Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, who claimed that he was unfairly fired from the show in 2011 as a result of interference by its host, Guy Fieri. Page then claimed in the press that Fieri harbored homophobic tendencies and that he had expressed these opinions to others on the staff. Fieri, whose late sister Morgan was a lesbian, denied these accusations and actually went on to officiate a mass wedding of over 100 same-sex couples at an event in 2015. And then my most important tattoo is uh, in memory of my sister Morgan. So was there any truth to these allegations or was it just a case of sour grapes on the part of Paige? Only those involved know for certain. Number three, Mario Batali's sexual misconduct. Sexual harassment was a hot-button issue in 2017, and Mario Batali was just one of many, many powerful men charged with inappropriate behavior by female accusers. Batali didn't deny these accusations in a prepared statement sent out to the media and expressed remorse and regret for his actions, although this didn't stop Batali from losing his spot as one of the hosts of ABC's hit The Chew. This wasn't the first time Batali had been accused of impropriety, however as the food mogul had also settled a lawsuit in 2012 to the tune of $5 million for skimming tips from his waitstaff in order to pay the salaries of sommeliers at his New York City restaurants. Number two, Martha Stewart in the Big House. Martha Stewart was the picture-perfect icon of home cooking, decorating, and entertaining, and she sort of still is, despite serving time in prison for insider trading. Stewart was indicted in 2003 on charges of fraud and obstruction of justice for her role in selling almost 4,000 shares of stocks after receiving private insider information from her Merrill Lynch broker, Peter Bakanovic. She was found guilty of numerous charges a year later and served her four-month sentence in a West Virginia minimum security prison. Afterwards, Stewart would resume her place in the public eye, a place she still inhabits today. She even hosts a cooking and variety show with Snoop Dogg. Yep, really. Number one, Paula Deen's racist reputation. It was 2013 when a lawsuit filed by a former employee of Paula Deen took one giant swipe at the Southern Chef's media empire. Lisa Jackson alleged that there was an atmosphere of sexual and racial discrimination in the workplace, and also specifically mentioned Deen's expressed dream of planning a plantation-style wedding for her own brother. Deen lost a lot of endorsements from the whole episode, particularly after she admitted to using the N-word in the past although Jackson, who is white, later praised the Dean family after settling out of court. Two years later, Paula tweeted a photo of herself, dressed as Lucille Ball, alongside her son Bobby in brownface as Desi Arnaz, further fanning the flames of her critics.